Joining us in the kitchen today is Clint Dempsey. He's the captain of the U.S. men's national soccer team, and he's brought to us by Degree for Men, who are encouraging fans to push their limits and do more. Let's talk to Clint. How would you describe the craziest, scariest soccer environment you've ever found yourself in? The craziest soccer environment that I've been in, I would say probably going down, playing a World Cup qualifier in, in one of the countries in Latin America, uh, getting coins thrown at you, having laser pointers on you. Um, also, in the, with the U-20 World Cup, there was a United Arab Emirates. It was after the 9-11 stuff. We had helicopters following us everywhere to protect us. That was pretty difficult um, being, being in that experience. But that's what people deal with uh, when you play international sports. Um, you're, you're traveling to different locations. You're diff diff dealing with uh, difficult environments. You just have to overcome it, and it makes you stronger for it. Landon Donovan tells the story of having urine and vomit thrown at him in Mexico. Have you ever had a bad Mexico experience? Have you ever had a urine and vomit experience? I, I've never had urine, but I, I, didn't, I didn't even know that people could you, throw in vomit <laughs> either. That's a new one for me. <laughs> I've never had that. I've been lucky. I, I guess, I guess they, don't, they don't hate me too bad. They just put it in a cup. That's the way that works. I don't think they do. Yeah, but, I, I, but still, I you have to make the decision. I'm going to throw up and I'm going to hold it in right, a cup and yeah. then I'm going to throw it at somebody. That's <laughs> yeah. some dedication. Yeah. <laughs> that is dedication. <laughs> All right, well, you're a tough guy and you grew up in Nacogdoches. How did you not wind up playing football? Well, to be honest with you, I wasn't, I wasn't that tough, man. I mean, I grew up in Nacogdoches, one of the you know oldest towns in, uh, in Texas, but you know, when you're playing football in eighth grade, I was I still hadn't hit my growth spurt. I was slow. I remember in in high school when I was playing when I was playing soccer on the varsity team as a freshman. I was so slow they called me turbo. Dempsey, you're not that tough. How many jaws have you broken? How many? What's the number? How many? I don't know. I don't know. I got my jaw broke, man. I got <laughs> kneed in the face one time. So uh I'll help had you my out. jaw it's, broke too. But uh it's, it's not really good to be breaking people's jaws. Try to stay away from that. Three. You've broken three jaws. That's how many jaws you've broken. Hey, you're counting. I'm not counting, man. I try to, you know, I'm trying to be a peaceful man. I'm married with kids, so. <laughs> Are you still rapping? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, you know, just for, just for fun. Me and, uh, you know, one of my friends from Nacogdoches, XO, uh, we were thinking about doing a mixtape, so we'll see what happens. But right now, you know, I'm focused on uh, soccer and trying to make the most of my career, but uh, I enjoy rapping. Uh, the first vehicle I ever had, I didn't have a radio in it, so I would rap to go to school. My younger brother used to always tell me to shut up, so uh, it's just something I've always enjoyed doing. Well, you know, that's one of the interesting things about you in the United States is that we've seen the video with you and Big Hall from Houston. Do they understand and appreciate the fact that you like to rap in Europe? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, but for me, uh, it was great to be able to be part of that campaign, to work with Big Hawk, uh, someone who I looked up to because I grew up on Houston rap. Had a lot of love for Bun B, UGK, Pimp C, uh, you know, listen to Trey, listen to Swisher House. So that really shaped me as a person. That's what I like to listen to before games. And rest in peace to Big Hawk, because after we did that project, uh, he, ended, he ended up being killed. But uh, my thoughts go out to him and his family always. I always show, show, have a lot of time for him, show a lot of love to him and uh, the rappers from Houston, because uh, they kind of helped shape me as a person, too, because they were part of my development. You mentioned repaying the investment to, that your parents made in you. Can you remember specifically one or the most emotional moment where you felt moved by being able to repay that investment? Yeah, when I told, uh, when I told my mom and dad they could uh, retire, they didn't have to work anymore. That was, that really, that was really special for me. And how did, that, uh, how did that go over? Because sometimes parents can be prideful about that stuff. Nah, my family were happy. Uh, they, were, they were tired. And I'm glad that I'm able to, to help them out because they gave a lot to me. Clint, my father has something he'd like to ask you. Go ahead, Poppy. Can you spit a few bars for us? Oh, spitting a few bars. My father has requested a bar. Oh, spit or a few bars spat. for you? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, I'll do a little bit. Uh, do this here, because there's rhymes for a reason. And while you're breathing, competition's still grieving. Quick to leave reasons like a slap betrayed season. Play fields at even, steady bobbing and weaving. Remember lies are deceiving. Frosted the snowman flow will stay freezing. Stay low, you're no trees in. Lines with cohesion. Superman bars still adhesion. <laughs> He's still rapping. He's, He's still rapping. He's been waiting. He's been waiting all his life for a sports journalist to ask that question. Thank you. We appreciate the time. <laughs> no problem. Thank y'all.